Hello, welcome back. NBC Duel discloses every week. February 15 and 19 will bring Laura Horton's funeral. Abigail Devereaux's niece blames Gwen Reischeck for Laura's death. It's a bad scene next to the grave on Duel. Find Abigail to attack Gwen. Then Gwen Reischeck clapped her hands on Abigail Devereaux, and it got Jack stuck between Gwen and Abigail. Last week saw Chloe Lane be attracted to Brady as she took care of him back into wellness. And this is what Kristen is worried about will happen. However, if Kristen convinces Susan Banks to swap up with her in Days of Our Lives, she could be interfered with. There could be a sob when Ben wants another lunch, and she's not the real one. Next week, Sierra grabbed Rhodes' phone and texted Ben Weston. Of course she doesn't know where she is, so that's a problem. The Days of Our Lives vandals say that the wicked Orpheus tricked her captors. Soon, Sierra would probably be in that villain's hands instead of her own. Ben started searching after receiving the text. Meanwhile, horror Charlie sex abuser to Claire Brady with another plea to believe he is innocent. But she didn't, and was getting mad at him on duel. It was later revealed by Days of Our Lives that Allie and Lucas Horton attacked Charlie. Additionally, Lucas has apologized to Trip Dalton. Days of Our Lives Weekly of Relations confirmed Charlie comes after Ava Vitale with another threat. Her best friend, Nicole Walker, became increasingly concerned about her safety. So Nicole convinces Rafe to let Ava stay with him, saying Days of Our Lives spoilers, will Ava be safe with her evil son there? Looks like his fate will soon unfold. Let's see how things mellow out. And are they in a sister-in-law showdown with Gwen Reischeck and little Abigail DeVroe? This is going to get worse soon, and there seems to be hope for peace in the family. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, and see you again.